so I'm in Solo Rosa now and uh, there's again one of those massive Spanish churches which I shall explore a little bit. The ride here was again very adventurous and beautiful over the smallest mountain passes and um, my next stop will be the Tabernas Desert, the driest spot in uh, Europe. So let's see what this is all about. Beautiful. Now we have to figure out how to get it. This seems to be it. Wow. Wow, that is really beautiful. Amazing. Oops, but the lights went out. <laughs> So this is just natural light now here in the church. Not even candles, maybe a few. <laughs> Very beautiful. So, uh, I'm hurtling towards the Tabaros Desert, the driest place in Europe. So, with only 200 milliliters of rain for the entire year. Um, and so, the landscape here is, is fascinating. Um, I'll show you some more pictures than when I'm actually in the desert. But um, it's sort of one giant death valley here. It's unbelievable. I'm still a hundred kilometers away, but um, the only trees and the only shade you get is if it's uh, planted trees, uh, palm trees and whatever can last in the heat. So here I found a little shady place, very precious already here, in the, here under some palm trees. Here it's sort of a little oasis along on the highway and here in the background you can already see the barren mountains. It's uh, mostly stone, <laughs> very very little vegetation. So what we see here is very typical. It seems the main industry here would be obviously quarries you see lots of stone trucks driving around and uh, I mean what else can you do here <laughs> so this is an abandoned quarry there's still old equipment lying around tires and up there an age-old back home and so when they're done it seems they just leave the equipment here to to rot it's probably all used up <laughs> and uh, this is sort of a very typical little spot here so i'm in taberos now right up front here is my hotel those balconies and Here's some of the side streets. And is now off to lunch. It's about uh, 1.30 p.m. So I'm here in the garage of the hotel. And since we're now gonna do a bit of desert driving with Scooty, um, first of all, of course, no 
um, suitcase in the back to lighten the weight a little bit. And also I'm gonna take these flaps off now. Now I cut these things myself and they're really more for northern regions because the rain still, uh, when, when it's raining strongly, it goes around the windshield and hits you right in the face. So um, I made these little flaps, which I'm gonna take off. The one here in the middle that I leave on because it can be folded down and then it gets a lot more breezy such as it is. And I'll probably leave them away, these flaps, um, for the rest of the trip. So now with the side flaps gone, I should also get a little bit more of a breeze. As you can tell, my air conditioning flaps here are always in this region on the far open to also get a breeze through. And that in combination with my flappable top shield there, I can regulate uh, the driving adventure quite well. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's up in the desert. So this is as far as they let me drive to the Castillo Tabernas. Um, now the rest I need to walk, which won't be easy at, <laughs> what is it now, 44 Celsius, something like this. But the view should be spectacular from up there. All right, almost there. It's just these few steps left. Wow, but already the view is spectacular. It turns out I could get a little bit further. Um, just took the wrong side. Could have saved myself some climbing. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is huge. I'm gonna spend, I'll be somewhere there in the middle in about a half hour. I'm gonna take Scooty there. This is really Death Valley blown up hugely. And by the way, three famous Western movies, the titles escape me, <laughs> were filmed here and you can um, still go to the original movie sets here. They left them. You know, I gotta give it to my little scooter. I mean, here I am in the middle of <laughs> the Taberos Desert. Um, this is better roads here, but sometimes uh, it's just, you know, very big gravel or so. And uh, in spite of searing heat and everything else, it just calmly and uh, professionally drives me through there. Um, sometimes there's a lot of washboards on the road, if you know that, from, from the one time it rains a year. Um, and so my telephone that's firmly clamped in, um, in the RAM holder, uh, kept falling off. So um, I'm now wearing it in my pocket and listen to way instructions uh, in my shirt pocket. <laughs> So, but wow, this is impressive. Oh, and look, way up there is where we just were. Um, what, about 20 minutes ago? Those big uh, ruins, the Castel Tabernas. All right, that's the end for my little Scooty. It's getting very rough and also the sand here on the on the road when it's sand instead of boulders is getting too deep for Scooty. And he is too heavy 
for me to lift out or even turn around anywhere or so. Um, so just this little turnaround will not be easy because I have to push then sort of go this way and then this way, this way, this way, this way and toggle out. Um, that won't be easy. So I'll have to see whether I can rent a real professional dirt bike um, and explore the desert tomorrow. Uh, this is what I was afraid of. Now I'm actually stuck here in the sand. Can't go any further here. So this will be interesting. Hmm. Well, so about a half hour later, I got out. Almost got stuck here at this part again. <laughs> wow. So, uh, well, we shall see what comes next, but I'm now leaving the desert again, coming back the way I came because I know I can drive there. <laughs> um, yeah, and like, like I said, tomorrow I'll try to rent an actual dirt bike. But um, Scooty seems to have survived. Well, will you look at that? Somebody must have lived here at some point. <laughs> but I must say, uh, uh, in California, Death Valley, they did do a lot better. They have an 18-hole golf course plus resort where I have stayed twice. <laughs> it's beautiful with all the air conditioning, ice and luxury you can imagine. So, um, hmm, <laughs> quite a contrast. All right, <laughs> we're back in civilization here. Whew. What a nice adventure. Ha, ha, ha.